What's up everyone, hope you're all having a great day today. And in this video, we're gonna be doing something that it's a little simple trick that a lot of us tall guys that own Miatas should definitely know. And uh, what that trick is, is called a seat foam ectomy. It's a little, it sounds a little weird, even sounds a little gross. But essentially, this is a perfect, cheap, not even cheap, completely free mod that you can do if you're tall and have a Miata. Now this is kind of an alternative to uh, getting a, a bucket seat, if you will. Um, essentially what we're doing is we're gonna be removing a little bit of the foam in the driver's seat and we're, I'm hoping to get at least an extra inch of headroom uh, out of the seat there. So right now when I sit in the car, my head without a helmet is like really close to uh, hitting the hard top there. But, and hopefully removing some of this foam will give me a little bit extra headroom so that I could be able to uh, fit a helmet in there. So that's what we're going for. I'll show you what I look like now in the car and then I'll show you what I look like after I remove some of the foam. All right, so this is before the foam actomy. My, my head is like, I don't know, four fingers from hitting the ceiling. But if I sit up like, like completely straight, there's like hardly any room. If I, especially if I lean back, my head's like touching right there. So, uh, you know, if I scoot down in the seat, I have maybe, maybe two fingers. Just sitting there completely normal. Of course, then I slouch forward. I got loads of room, but if I put it all the way back, I'm basically like touching the ceiling. So that's not good. So hopefully when we remove some of this foam, it will all uh, work out. So weird little thing here. Um, both seats are missing some hardware. This seat doesn't really shake that much, but this seat, I there's like probably only like two bolts in yeah, that's not good so we're gonna remove we're just doing the driver's seat today um, I don't think I'm gonna do any other seat um, but when we're done I am definitely running to the hardware store to get some more bolts because that's not good So here's how we're looking. Um, usually, there would there would be some. These plugs would be plugged in if the uh, that had airbags in the seat or see that seat belt light, I should say. But these these weren't obviously plugged in. Um, if you're doing this, this would be a great time to just vacuum everything out of here. And get everything taken care of. Looks like there's cocoa pebbles. I really hope those are cocoa pebbles because I just touched those with my hand. Um, but yeah, I also need to figure out what I want to do with my stock seatbelt at one point here. It's just kind of chewing, but that's the seat out. Now we're gonna move on to taking the rails off. Okay, so this is the part where we kind of need to like pay attention to what we're doing here. So you can just either pull, push up. Okay, you're gonna seats on its back. So you want to push up, and then you can move the uh, sliders. So all you really need to do is because there should only be two two bolts per slider. So you're just gonna these are twelves. So we just need to. Off. Put them somewhere safe. Oh, 
really helped those go back on because they sounded like they were a little cross threaded. There's the sliders off. All right. So now this is where the seat cover comes in here. Um, so there is going to be all these little clips in here, all across the bottom, a couple on the sides, and then, and then across the top there. So now what you would do is you would just cut those free because we're not going to be able to, to reuse them. So you're going to cut them. And then to put the cover back on, everyone just uses zip ties. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so here's where we're at. So as you can see, the two parts are separated. I forgot to mention that. I didn't know you, well, I didn't even know you had to do that. So to do so, um, there is just two. So I had two Phillips head screws. Then I could pry this plastic up just a little bit. And there was two 14 millimeter bolts on this side. And then um, that's there right there is a little eight millimeter screw. Got all those off. And then to uh, take all of the clips off, uh, I just used some snippers to get those off. So now we're on the stage of taking this whole seat cover off and this piece off. All right, so now that we got that metal tray off, you can kind of see here, this is the hump that we're gonna be working with. So the rule of thumb is that this is like, the so this is the very bottom of the seat. It goes, it sits in that pan right there. And so the rule of thumb is you only wanna cut the bottom because if you uh, trim in there, uh, that is, gonna make the, uh, the actual seat fabric look really weird. So it's gonna sink and sag and it's not gonna look tight at all. So what is happening here is if we shave this, uh, I, I kinda wanna try and make it more flush to this, but you can go as creative as you want to at this step. Uh, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a sharp knife and we're just gonna just cut this butt pan out here. And uh, essentially, it's gonna make it so when you sit in the seat, you're gonna sink more. And uh, for me being about 6'4", six, 6'5", six, in that range, 6'5", um, on a good day, that is uh, uh, gonna make me sit a lot lower to the car. And uh, yeah, so DIY bucket seat underway here. I'm gonna leave the top part alone because I think it has some good lumbar support. I mean, it's not amazing lumbar support. It is a Miata seat, but uh, as you can, it's been thrashed anyway. So this is a perfect candidate. So we're gonna get to cutting. Enough talking here. And uh, yeah, I'll set, set the camera up and I'll go to town. Let's do this. All right, so this is hideous. But luckily no one's gonna really see this unless you're watching this video. But we got it pretty fair. Um, th this crater, I'm a little nervous about that crater. Um, the first initial rip of the thing, uh, I 
obviously took too, a little bit too much out, but I don't think that's really going to bother me. I, my butt is gonna basically be like all the way back here anyway. Uh, so yeah, that is um, what it's looking like. Uh, I cut a little too uh, deep there. They're starting to get a little bit of wire showing, but um, so that's why that's, I just stopped because I was like, mm, this looks good. I mean, it is horribly, there is like mountains everywhere. This looks like the Cascade Mountain Range right here, folks. But um, yeah, this is uh, what we're looking for. Um, made a giant mess. Going to uh, clean this up. And then we're going to start seat reassembly. It's really easy. We just reverse everything that we did. And uh, as far as the cover goes, like I said, we're just going to zip tie it up and cut it and all will be well there. So I'm going to just skip all of the cleanup and then I'll catch you guys up when we're ready to put the seat back in. All right, so this is what the seat cover all zip tied together. Um, you know, you know what? These zip ties, I might keep them like that. You know, it looks like crazy here, you know? I won't hear it at all here or anything. Just kidding, I'm going to cut it. So, prepare to be satisfied. Here we are. All right, so we got the seat fully assembled there. Uh, it, I didn't have really any troubles with the, with the what I thought was the cross-threaded um, screws in there but we're all good seats all put together and now we're going to throw it in the car bolt it in and then we need to take a trip to uh, the hardware store to get the rest of the uh, rest of the bolts for the seat so let's go ahead throw the seat in and off we go luckily the seat is uh, very light And luckily, I don't have to, uh, really have to take my roof off. Came out, right? Seat is in. All right, so this is after. This is all the way back. I still have a little bit of room. I mean, I, I still touch when I do that, but um, you know, normal, normal driving position here. I still have room. I was touching before. Um, I can go all the way back and forth which is nice, but yeah, there's the top of my head there. Still touch it a little bit, but definitely not as bad as before, but I can actually, and I just, I, I feel like I'm sunken into the seat more. So that's also nice, but um, yeah, I actually think it is actually a little bit of an improvement. It'll still be a tight fit with a helmet though. So I'll have to do my research with that. I have a feeling when I put a helmet on, I'm just gonna scratch the roof like crazy. But um, yeah, I think next thing on the list is just getting a different steering wheel because uh, it's a little too big. So that's gonna be my, my next thing. I want a quick, quick release steering wheel. So yeah, well, I think that's going to call it for today. Thank you for coming to my uh, foam ectomy with the Miata. Um, it actually is a little bit of an improvement overall. A nice, e easy, free mod. And I was going to say hard, but it was pretty easy. So, good mod. I highly recommend it. But I think that'll do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. And I will uh, catch you guys up in the next one.
Later.